Hello everybody, welcome back to Nerd is the New Sexy Let's Play. I'm out of school 960 and this is part 3 of Shining Force. Let's get right to it, shall we? Right where we left off. We left off at the destruction of our hometown. We gained Gort and the monk. Um, I can't remember his name. But we also gained uh, Varys' daughter. The king is dead, Varys is dead, so we are set out to find the king's daughter, Henri, which is in the next area. Let's go there. But oh wait, another fight. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Another fight, but with more monsters this time. This time we have the new enemy per se, the giant bat. They can easily fly around. There, let me show you. There's some. There's two that spawn over here in this side of the waters that we just crossed gate here to our own little castle. A total of five bats, five rune knights, and five dwarves. Let's go ahead and ignore the bat. Actually, let's have May attack the bats on the right. She really does pack a punch, doesn't she? Let's have Ken help May over here. by one damage and he's not gonna double attack but he is gonna level up and here comes second back to attack me oh no looks like it's gonna strike for Tau And it's going for our hero. Ooh, a double. That's actually very threatening. Oh, thank God. If it went down to the hero, it would have won right there. But it's the AI, so nothing to worry about there. I'm going to ignore the bat that's at one health, leave that for the hero, aka Ice Cold, and miss at the fully health bat. Let's hope that's not part of my downfall. I called them giants, and uh, yeah, they're dark dwarves. Although, I guess on the battle screen, they look like giants? I don't know. I just guess they're giants by the force perspective that you have to look at it, because... You're technically supposed to be far away from them, and from that distance, they look giant. So come on, you know, here, I'll go ahead and heal. In case the bat gets to go again for the hero.
And it's going after Tao. Well, Tao's dead. Wow. Expecting it to be one hit. You know what? I'll let low take it. Yeah, I'll do this. So, in terms of chess, doing what I'm doing here is putting my king in danger. Um, you, you don't want to move your king unless you absolutely have to. But, the perks moving your king, the more you level him up, the stronger he gets. And you need him, you need everyone to be strong. So when you move him to use him to attack, you have to plan. That's why I love this game so much. It's so like right here, I planned very poorly. and kill the one that hasn't moved yet. Go after the one that has the least amount of health. Ooh, that was a crit. That had to hurt. Khan's is now level 4. Slowly get rid of the Dark Dwarves. I have so much to heal as well. Thank God I have two healers now. Always heal your king first as well, especially if he's in direct line against an opponent that could potentially move again soon. But it looks like he's not going to because the king, aka Ice Bowl, aka me, is going to kill. And level up to three. Let's have Gort go ahead and attack this Dark Dwarf. Gort, <coughs> excuse me, is very tanky. So, last time he faced off against the uh, Dark Dwarf, it only did one damage. Let's go ahead and have low heal Tau. draw down Dark Dwarf so I don't have to walk all the way up there. That Dwarf's gonna go after Gort. Should only take one damage. Oh, it's a three. Okay. Oh, you know what? It was the bat that did one damage, wasn't it? Oh, well. There goes my short-term memory. <laughs> It's okay, though. The bats and the knights should not move yet because I didn't cross a certain threshold. Let's go ahead and use the king to attack the dwarf. And then use gong to probably finish off the dwarf. No. Gong only does one damage. Let's have May finish him off. Mm -hmm. 
Now, you can also think of this game like Pokemon. You want your entire party to be on equal footing as far as level goes. Which in Pokemon, that in and of itself costs time, because you need to grind a lot. Here, you can grind. Our hero... Oops. Has an ability... Called Egress. Now, if I can recall, that's the only ability he has the entire game, unless he has a sword that is able to cast it's a spell all on its own. I don't recall if that spell uses any mana or any MP. It shouldn't. But what Egress does, it teleports you and your party back to the last friar that you're able to visit. And you're able to keep all your XP, all your gold, and you're able to go back out, fight all the monsters again for that battle. It's a way to... In a sense, level up your party. It's it's grinding. To it's, it's the definition of grinding. And of course it goes after fucking town. Hmm. Tao's too quick for you, man. Let's have Gong finish ya. Not Gong, Gore. Alright, so that's all the dwarves. Let's see if we can get the bats to move down here before the Rune Knights can uh, move into their formation. I can't remember where the line is to cross that they move. Might be right about here. Yep. So again, the he main hero is in danger, so I have to get one of my healers at least to where he is. And the Rune Knight goes a second time. Man, that's some speed on him. Oh, he does six damage each. I better keep on my toes then. But I do seven. So as long as I stay above 6 health, he shouldn't be an issue. But that double got rid of him. Now there's that other Rude Knight up here, so I'm going to go ahead and all but sacrifice low to heal and protect the hero. Looks like I have one more heal uh, left. He's gonna go for. No, he isn't gonna go for Gong. Huh. Go for me. Which one's lower? I think that one just moved down. I'll go ahead and kill this one.
Ooh, that crit. 13. Let's not risk Tau immediately like that. But I do want to get rid of that knight as fast as possible. Let's do that. Yep, go and go for board. Should only be able to do six, five, okay. Okay, this is getting very dangerous. If you kill one of the knights, like, it's a specific one. I can't remember which one it is. Um, that is like the boss of the area, so they should all disappear. In theory. Uh, yeah, that's really the only one I can attack. And it's gonna go for me, but that's okay. Should only do two. Gong, however, might be is in danger. Okay, yeah. in danger. She might actually die. Ooh, barely. Let's go ahead and kill this knight. Let's cat set so this guy on um, fire. I almost said cast fire on him. Cal's now level 3. Um... She's missing more health than Gore. Otherwise, I would have healed Gore. If I recall correctly, the more health you regenerate from casting heal, the um, more experience you gain. Now, Luke, however, barely survives. This is a close one. gonna get the kill. Okay, so I guess you do have to complete the whole fight. So my- no, there's one more night. I saw it like at the last frame before it went dark, but that's alright. I won't have Han. Actually, I might have to. Yeah. It's too high of a health for anyone else to attack in one and kill one shot. The hero's okay for now, so as long as I keep the knight away from him. And it's dead. Okay, so nope. I'm going to kill everyone. Another way to skip the battle is to have your hero 
move into the castle your objective to go to. But that just gets you missing XP. Oh, come on, quit invading. Take it like a bat you are. <gasps> Excuse me. Can't believe Luke is at one health. Oh, why are they evading so much? Their speed has to be really freaking high. Now it's attacking low. And it put me to sleep. I have no mana left. It's dead. These battles do take some time. I can't attack with you. <clears throat> um, just like, you know, I keep on going back to chess. Just like game chess. You have to take your time to really play the game. And with that, that should be the... Yep, Kuna have to do better than that to stop you. On to Alteron. After every battle as well, you will automatically heal. Welcome Alteron, stranger. And with that, that comes to the conclusion of part three of Shining Force. Again, I want... I was hoping to have more than one battle per episode, but they take up so much time, I sadly can't. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, stay nerdy, stay sexy, always.